What are 360 deals in the music industry? We'll discuss these new exclusive recording contracts, as well as the pros and cons of these multiple rights deals and what they will mean to you as an artist, especially if you're looking to be signed by a record label. In any type of recording agreement with a record label, when they invest their money, services, time, contacts, systems, and networks to help push, establish, and break an artist in the industry, they will, in no doubt, look for ways to recoup their money. Now, traditionally, the recoupment of the money came mostly through sales. But today, with the rising popularity of streaming and the decline of sales, both artists and record labels have struggled trying to get a return on their investment. For the artists, if they received an advance from the record label, that is all the money that they would see until they paid back the record label for every penny that the record label spent on them. And this is how that would work. If the artist's royalty was 10%, let's say, and the record label spent $1,000 on them, if the artist brought in $1,000 in sales, would that mean that the artist would have recouped their money back to the record label? In theory, yes, but in reality, no. They only recoup back to the record label 10% of that $1,000, which would be only $100. So the artist still owes the record label $900. So the artist continues to work to be able to pay the record label back either through that album or subsequent albums that the artist owes to the label. Now, if an artist was a songwriter, there's a little more light at the end of the tunnel quicker because they will get those royalties from songwriting and publishing royalties. Record companies also look for ways to limit what they have to pay out. For instance, if an artist signed to a record label is a songwriter, those songs are considered controlled compositions. So whereas an artist is supposed to receive 9.1 cent for every sale or download, then the record company says, well, those are controlled compositions. So we'll only pay three quarters of that amount. Also, before recording artists would receive any money, The record label would reduce their fees first from producer royalties, foreign sales, packaging costs, CDs, graphics, manufacturing, reserves against returns. In other words, if they sent out packaging or a product to a distributor and some of that product came back, then they would hold some money in reserves to offset those costs. I didn't even go into promotions, marketing, publicity, hotels, food, per diems, or any of those things. And these are just a few examples of some terms in recording contracts. So what then is the 360 deal? The 360 deal, also known as the multiple rights deal, is an exclusive recording agreement where the record company can earn a percentage from everything the artist makes, from all of the artist's activities, rather than just from sales and the promotional activities surrounding those sales. We're talking money earned from songwriting, publishing, lyrics, all streaming and digital sales, concerts, tours, gigs, live performances, television, radio, film, ringtones, endorsements. In other words, any and everything the artist makes. In exchange, you have an opportunity to negotiate with the record label for larger non-recoupable advances, the ability to negotiate longer terms for the artist with more commitment from the label to release more product, the promise of higher royalty rates, and more commitment from the label overall to see to your success. After all, they have all of their money invested in you and they definitely want to see you succeed. But also what comes with that is limited creative control. They have more say in your look and your branding. They have more say in when you work, how you work, and what you do. They have the general oversight of your career. You, on the other hand, have access to their funding, a team of experience and support, and the opportunity to focus solely on your career. So you definitely would need to weigh all of these pros and cons with an entertainment attorney. For the rest of you who are forging your career on the independent path, Pick up my free gift to you if you haven't done so already. You'll find the free checklist link in the description below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm Maria Watkins, empowering you to handle your music's business. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. Let me know in the feedback in the comments below. You take care now. Stay safe, stay well, and have a great day.